Remember some version of that old nursery rhyme, what are little girls made of? Sugar and spice and everything nice. And what are little boys made of? Snakes and snails and puppy dog tails. Well, the author of those words, English poet Robert Southey, certainly never met my son back in the day when he was a sweet little boy. Unless we're talking about writing. Hi, everyone. I'm Beth Purcell, and I'm a writing instructor at True North Homeschool Academy. Let's face it, boys are just wired differently. Uh, in my vast experience in working with students, most of my male scholars have proven to be analytically minded, linear thinkers, and for the most part, problem solvers. Just think about the toys that boys typically gravitate to and play with and enjoy most, Legos. Most budding builders want the kits in order to follow the design on the box, the steps that are included so that they can create something great. Matchbox cars. Well, these are really no fun without the racetrack or a road to zip through. And tools. <laughs> That's a given because here they can fix anything with these tools and they know exactly what each one is used for. And video games. Of course, our young lads must figure out the path to victory in order to level up and claim the wonderful great prize. So it stands to reason that when we ask our boys to pick up a pencil and create an essay for a class, many young men dig in their heels. They are reluctant and that reluctancy turns into resistance, which may eventually turn into downright refusal. But why? I often hear moms say, but he's so brilliant. He's ahead of his class in most everything. I know he can do this, he just won't. Well, most of the time we're reluctant to try something or we even refuse to do something because we really don't think we're very good at it and we're afraid of failure and we lack the confidence to even try. Some teachers and parents try to combat the student revolt against writing by offering, oh, you can write about anything, anything you want. Just pick something, anything. Well, this world is big and wide and it can be quite intimidating for a young mind to search through all of the possibilities and land on one thing to write about. Now, my sweet son was in kindergarten when his teacher sounded the alarm. You see, he was not the least bit interested in coloring. He wanted to know how are those crayons made? How do they get the color in there? And who gets to pick the cool name of these crayons anyway? Well, when his teacher did not share in his same interest in the crayons and insisted that he return to his coloring page and complete it, well, he decided to conduct a science experiment to see just how strong these crayons were. And will they hold up to my karate chop? You get the picture. T was in fourth grade when we decided to school at home, and I quickly realized that we were in trouble. When he was required to write anything, short answers for uh, questions in a book, short answers for tests, even a short paragraph response, he would just simply dissolve into a puddle of tears. And then it hit me. There's something else going on here. There's more going on. He needs a formula. He needs a formula to follow that makes sense to him. He needs the Lego building steps. He's lost without the matchbox car road. He needs to understand how to level up and claim the prize. Now, there are various writing programs out there, but you also want to consider what your young male student needs to be successful. Now, I prefer to use a theme-based writing curriculum full of exciting stories and source texts. It's really, really important to give your emerging authors interesting subjects, ideas, and information to write about. These oh-so-young brains just simply have not experienced enough to generate inspiration. 
So in my various classes, I use stories from science, U.S. history, world history, and even C.S. Lewis's Narnia series for writing lessons and assignments. You got to captivate before you can motivate. Now, not only are we growing our note-taking skills and our writing skills, but we are learning interesting things about our world along the way. Easy to understand steps are critical for writing success for our young scribes. They need that formula to follow and a formula needs to expand and grow as our writers develop their skills. And of course, these early essayists must be given the right tools for constructing their compositions. A toolbox full of grammar tips and style techniques will follow your little fellow wherever his future takes him. Riding is much like riding a bike. You start with training wheels, you practice, you get good at balancing, you take the training wheels off, gain a little more confidence, and before you know it, you're zipping down the hill or you're learning tricks with style and flair. So what about that little boy who was so interested in crayons, but not so much interested in writing? Well, not too long ago, T graduated from Clemson University with a degree in microbiology with a concentration in biomedicine and a minor in biological sciences and a second degree in computer science from Oregon State University. Of course, he wrote tons of papers and lab reports and technical papers throughout his college career. And he learned that, yes, he can write and he can write well, very well. And if you ask him, he might even admit that he loves it just a little bit. One of the very best gifts that we can give our children is the gift of communication. Our writing is a reflection of who we are. And writing, effective writing, is a crucial skill that your young man will need no matter what career choice he chooses. So find a writing program with a clear formula, easy to use tools, and fun, inspiring text to get your son on the road to great writing. Or have him join me at True North Homeschool Academy. I would love to see your little fellow in one of my writing classes. Hmm, snakes and snails and puppy dog tails. Now those are three great topics for a writing assignment.